Hey guys, today we're going to talk about the split rim. So here's the split rim. And it's different from an ordinary rim that you usually see on a car or a piece of equipment because it's in two pieces. And these rims were at one time very common and you found them on all kinds of equipment, even uh, regular passenger cars and trucks. Uh, today in America, you don't see them used hardly at all. Uh, one of the reasons is, as I mentioned, the name is the split rim, but they also call them the widow maker because uh, they're very dangerous if you don't install them properly. And just like most things that are dangerous, they're most dangerous when you get overconfident and don't pay attention to what you're doing. So as a disclaimer today, um, I'm gonna tell you this is not a how-to video. And we don't recommend that you try this yourself and, uh, unless you're properly trained and have the proper equipment. So let's just show you how it works here. It has a little lip here in the main part of the rim and then the, the ring snaps on. It's basically like a giant snap ring. So it's gonna snap on there and you'll see as we go along how it works. But is why it's so dangerous is because if you've ever used like a little snap ring uh, on a wheel bearing or axle or a U-joint and if you snap that little thing when you're putting it on and just let it slip, it'll fly across the shop. Well, this thing can do the exact same thing, uh, but it will kill you when it hits you. So let's go ahead and get started. We've already obviously taken the tire off of the rim and we're just gonna do the installation. So the first step we wanna do is we wanna make sure that our mating surfaces are clean. So this, this, we've already wire brushed this to clean the rim, but that's a very important step, especially if you have rust and, and dirt and stuff in your rim. So we're gonna go ahead and just make sure that everything is clean so we have good contact between the rim and the ring. All right, so. That's looking pretty good. Next step is we're gonna get the tire ready. Now split rim tires always have a tube because you've got those two pieces that are not airtight. So you always have to have a tube when you're doing a split rim and you need to have a flap. And these have gotten kind of difficult to find nowadays, but you can find them online if you get on there and look. So what we're gonna do is put the tube in the tire like so. And then we're gonna just inflate it a little bit, just enough to puff that tube up, just so it'll hold everything in place while we're putting the rim together. This particular tire is an 11L16. It's a low profile 11 inch wide tire and a 16 inch rim. Okay, so we've got the tube, uh, a little bit of air in it, partially inflated. And you can see we've got the valve stem here. You wanna make sure that the uh, tube, you don't have any wrinkles, that it just sits in there and everything is loose. All right, then we're gonna put the flap on. This particular tube and flap are both in the center. There are some that are offset, so you wanna make sure that your tube and your flap are both uh, have a center valve stem. So what we're gonna do is just go ahead and tuck this flap in side of the tire and both sides and we're just gonna work our way all the way around. I'm gonna go and lay that down now. Okay, so this is how we want it to look. If you can see inside of here, we want the, the uh, flap to be smooth, everything to be loose. So we just make sure everything is loose and nothing's binding or we're gonna get any wrinkles in there. And uh, it's looking pretty good. I should have worn gloves on this one. All right, so here is the slot in the rim. Then we've got to line the valve stem up with the with that slot. So 
actually is what I might do is I might go ahead and just do this like this. So we want to keep the alignment, the, the slot and the rim aligned with the valve stem. And tap that down. All right, and then we're gonna roll this back over and we're gonna put in this block of wood so that it holds the rim off the ground. That's gonna help us out a lot when we go to put that ring on there. All right, this looks like this is gonna be a tough one. This is a 12 ply tire, it's very stiff and it's 11 inches wide. The rim is about eight inches. So it's gonna be, looks like it may be a fun one to get on there. Basically what we're looking to do is we want to get one end of the split rim started and then we're going to work our way around seating it. So the problem we're having is the bead of the tire is not wanting to get up on the inside of this, this the ring part of the split rim. And that is actually what uh, I think causes a lot of the accidents that, that people have with these is they'll try to put air in it before uh, they make sure this bead is seated all the way around. And then it will literally, when you put air in the tire, it will pop that bead right out. And when it pushes the bead out, it pops the ring off. So we gotta make sure that we get the bead of the tire all the way up on that rim. And you can see there, I don't know if the camera can see in there or not, but you can see where it's seated most, most everywhere except for right in this area right here. So we're gonna try putting a little bit of lube in there and see if we can get it to pop up. All right, looks like we're getting close now. We just gotta make sure that we get everything snugged up and make sure the tube is loose and in the right place. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and give it a try, put a little air in. And before we do, we're gonna put some chains on just as a safety measure gonna wrap some chains around and that way if the ring were to pop up the chains will restrain it we don't want to get the chains too tight because we don't want them to interfere with the tire inflating So this is an important tool to have when you're doing working on a split rim tire. You need a chuck that will lock onto the valve stem because the last thing you want to do is be standing over your tire like this and have that ring pop up. So the way this chuck works, it's got this little lever. So you just clamp it down on there and then the lever holds it. And as what we're going to, what we're going to try today is a slow air compressor and just let it air up slowly and uh, just watch it, keep an eye on it, and see what happens. So we got about 25 pounds of pressure on there. We're just gonna come over here and just make sure everything's looking good, looking like it's seating on there. And if you notice, we've got the tire tipped up at an angle so that if that ring were to fly off, It'll go that direction. So I'm just gonna look back here and make sure everything's looking okay and then we'll go ahead and air it up to full pressure. All right, hope you enjoyed this. This is kind of different from our normal videos that we put out here, but this tire actually goes on uh, one of the loaders that we use with the business and uh, just thought we'd uh, try something different. And appreciate you liking, the, liking this video, subscribing to our channel and uh, ring the bell so you know when we put new stuff out. Appreciate you and you have a good day.